think so. I mean, there's so many opportunities to play now. Um, there's so many club teams. There's ECNL and the GA and mm. EDP, and it. There's a lot of teams to play on now. Unfortunately, they all cost so much money. That's a whole other uh, conversation for That's who so is cool. actually being left out. But um, yeah. yeah, I think overall, I mean, if I think of like my team in college compared to um, teams now, I think that the quality of player is better. Um, mm -hmm. and, you know, looking at our team, it's just, again, every year we're yeah. reevaluating is what, yeah. what is that next step? What is that next level? Yeah. How do we, how do we get there and stay there? Yeah. 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 Um, for sure. For sure. You're, like I said, you're at that level and it's just those players I'm sure you're bringing in are already top quality. And so all you're doing is you're playing with the margins, right? Like trying to figure out marginally, how can I get better players? How can I get better players or make those players even better? Yeah. The um, part too. yeah, yeah. I, that's a good, that's a good point because I don't really talk, I don't really ask about that, but I do think there's a, there is this, there's this development aspect that probably yeah. gets overlooked in, in yeah, I think in that's a something. Program. I think that's something too because um, you know we we may get GA kids and ECNL kids on our team, but Hannah Shepherds is an All American who played for the Cecil United. No one's ever heard of that. Mm -hmm. um, Abby Keen, yeah. who was All Region, played for Salisbury United. Who yeah. you know so. So we will watch everyone. We, we do our best to watch everyone. And if you look at, you know, the makeup of our roster, it may not be all ECNL and all GA. It's yeah. the best players on some teams that, you know, maybe don't get seen as much, don't get quite as much exposure. Um, mm -hmm. But I do think for us, the development is a huge piece is can we, can we recruit a player that is ready right away? Right. And everyone yeah. wants that player, that forward, that midfielder, that goalkeeper. Yeah. Um, but you can't have you're not going to recruit 11 freshmen who are ready to play and start right away. Right. So yeah. what do you do with them? Yeah. Like, What do you do in that year where they're not getting a lot of playing time? Mm -hmm. And so I think that's a big piece for us is it's a lot of ball work um, in the off season, yeah. it's player led. And, you know, we really look for in the recruiting process, just kind of that soccer head who just. Mm -hmm wants to get better, wants to spend time with the ball yeah. and not just run because so much emphasis yeah. is on fitness and we have that emphasis, but how do, how do we become better soccer players, um, yeah. you know, in the process? And it takes a special kid to go and kick that ball against a wall for hours a day. Yeah. Yeah. That, you just said something that, that's, that's interesting about the, so much emphasis on the fitness side of the game. Is that, do you think that's something at the club level or do you just think in general soccer is just it? I, I actually think it's easier to focus in on fitness than to actually work on the technical, the tactical um, right. aspects yeah, the, of the game. The fitness, I mean, you're choosing to play a game on a field that's, you know, 80 by 120 and lasts for 90 minutes and has subbing rules. Like, yeah, it has to be, it has yeah, to yeah. be a top priority. But I think sometimes it becomes the only priority. And so we try mm -hmm. to make sure it's not the only priority in the off season and in the summer. Um, because mm -hmm. again, then you miss the development piece. Is yeah. we've, we've had some you know special stories here where, you know, Katie Kirschman was a freshman, didn't play much, sophomore, didn't play much, came off the bench as a junior, you know, led the team in goals and was all conference. She didn't start till her senior year where she became all conference and all region. Um, yeah. If she would have, you know, if she wouldn't have spent those two years focused on development and only focusing on fitness, she probably wouldn't have been yeah. had that career. Um, yeah, yeah. So I think, I think again, fitness has to be an emphasis, but can it be coupled with the develop, individual development so that the team can get yeah. better, you know, every fall?